Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the third lecture in the series Bioinformatics and Genomics. In the last lecture, we talked about how we can download a mRNA gene sequence or CDS sequence from NCBI. In this lecture, we'll be focusing on designing the primers. There are so many tools available for designing the primer. So in this lecture, we'll be talking about an online free tool, which is free to use and we can easily design the primer. And this is very popular online tool. So this is the primer three software that we can use online and we can design the primer. Let's go ahead and design the primer in online primer three software. Let's open primer three in online browser, PR primer three. So we can use this one for designing the primer and this is free to use. Let's open the first link we have. So we can design the primer here. So this is the place where we can paste our DNA sequences. So let's pull the DNA sequence from Snapgen viewer. So this is the gene that we were working on in the last lecture, in the second lecture, where we downloaded this gene, sweet gene from NCBI, from the crop Arabidopsis. So let's copy this all sequence. So now we can see, so when we design a primer, our, if we are cloning the whole gene, then we have to design primer somewhere in five prime UTI region and the reverse primer should be somewhere in the three prime UTI region so that we can clone or we can sequence the whole gene. So let's see, so our UTI is 174 base pair and our three prime UTI is 268 base pair. So this means our total sequence for UTI region is around like 400 base pair. Therefore, the total length of the sequence we have is 50, 1757. So if we subtract that 400 base pair, then it is going to be around 1450 base pair. Therefore, we have to design our primer in such a way that both primer, the forward and the reverse, they are in the UTI region. So let's go ahead and copy this sequence and I'm going to paste the sequence in primer three soft online tool. So now there are so many things you can play with for designing the primer. However, we don't need to pay attention to all the details it has. So let's focus on the primer size. So we can fix the primer size 18 to 20 20 is the optimum and maximum is 23. I think this will work. And, and annealing temperature is 57 minimum, 59 optimum and maximum is 62. We can go this one up to 65. And GC content of the primer is 30% minimum and maximum 70%. I think this is going to work. And the product size ranges is 150 to 50, 850 to 1000. So this is not going to work for us because we have to design the primer in the range of 1500 to 1600 base pair to clone the whole CDS sequence. So I will type 1500 to 1600 base pair so that we can exactly get the primer in the UTI region. And we don't have to worry about other details. So we'll just pick the primers. So let's see what we'll get. So looking at here, our primer, we, we, are, we got the forward and the reverse primer. So the forward primer is at 29, starting at 29. So I think this is going to work for us. I'm not sure about the reverse. So we'll just go and check it here. So in the Snapchat viewer, we'll find Control F, Control V, Enter. So this is the forward primer we have. And let's check the reverse primer also. So this is the reverse primer we have. And So reverse primer is also in the UTI region. So this is going to work for us. So now let's copy the primer sequence and add a primer feature here. So I'm going to copy the forward primer sequence. So let's copy the forward sequence. Control F, Control V. So we are finding and pasting the primer. So this is the primer sequence. So this is going to be the forward primer sequence. So I'll go to feature or primer. 
I can do add primer. So it is the forward primer. So this is going to be the top strand. And I can give the name of the primer. So it is Arabrepsis thalianum switch chain. Yes. So this is the forward primer. Add primer to the template. Now we can see the AT switch chain F power primer is copied here. Now I'm going to copy the reverse primer sequence. So go to stamp chain viewer, control F, control V. So we paste the primer and this is also, this is in the reverse sequence. So now this is going to be the, in the bottom strand. So go to primer, add primer, and it will ask either top or bottom. So this is the bottom strand because this is going to be the reverse primer. So now I give the name AT switch 10 reverse primer. And sometimes what happens, a single set of primer may not work for PCR. So what we do is sometimes we design two or three pairs so that at least one of the pair is going to work. And I'm going to add the primer to the template. So now we see our reverse primer is here. After designing the both forward and reverse primer, let's see what is the size of the amplicon. So I'll copy from the forward primer to the reverse primer. So after we do the PCR, our size is 1505 base pair. Let's go and add this feature. So I'm going to add the feature and let's give it a unique color so that we can identify the amplicon. So now this is going to be PCR amplicon and this is for cloning. So I can write it cloning here. So let's do okay and see. Okay. Now we can see here. So our this is our PCR cloning amplicon. And if we if I click this one, so it will show how much base pair it is. So okay. So this starts from 80 base pair and goes up to 1584 base pair means it is a 1505 base pair fragment. We will amplify the Arabidopsis DNA and we'll clone this 1505 base pair in a vector. So there are multiple types of vector available. So we are going to use the vector where we don't need any restriction enzyme. For example, there are topo cloning you can directly use a PCR fragment for cloning. So in the next lecture, we'll be talking about cloning and how we can move ahead forward for sequencing and also for data analysis. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today we talked about how we can design a primer and amplify the sequence. And if you like my content and want to learn more about genomics and bioinformatics, please subscribe to my channel and like my content. Thank you so much and I'll see you in next video.